Good evening. In tonight's episode, I'm going to be pointing a 500 dollar telescope at the Eye of God. We're also going to be looking at two more wonders and seeing where they rank on our infamous wonder wall. Could tonight finally be the night that we find out what is the greatest wonder of our night sky? Let's find out. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. Coming up on this week's episode, we're taking a look at the Eye of God, Hubble's Variable Nebula, and how to spot one of the most stunning binary star systems in our night sky. So to kick things off, we're going to start by looking at the binary star system Albario, which is one of the most visually striking objects in our entire night sky. Albario is located at the beak of the Swan in Cygnus, and it is best observed over the summer months. It really is one of the best hooks in astronomy. Seeing the contrasting golden and sapphire colours of these two stars is enough to leave a lasting impression. What makes it so special is that unlike most things in our night sky that require hours of long exposure images to reveal their beauty, Albario is there, ready to be admired with even a small telescope. As the relative motion of the stars in our night sky dance throughout our galaxy, Albario will soon become the brightest star in our night sky, overtaking Sirius and Vega. I say soon, but to be exact, it's about 4 million years time. When viewed for our $500 smart telescope, the binary star system looks like the beginnings of a cosmic snowman. The larger the telescope, the better the resolving power, and ultimately, the more apparent the separation between these two is. Now unfortunately, no space telescope has deemed Albario worthy enough for a look yet, but fear not, for instead, I'm going to be using my own super powerful telescope to image the stars. Now this right here is my big freaking telescope. I mean, look at the size of this thing, it is literally taller than I am. With a colossal 16 inch primary mirror, my BFT is able to comfortably resolve each star and show off the insane vibrance in their colours. Yeah, I absolutely adore it. It's one of the first things that I show people through a telescope because you can always count on its beauty to dazzle. And that's why Albario scores a 96 rating in terms of beauty, a 66 for power, and then a 77 for mystery since there is more than meets the eye here. Our most recent results tell us that there are actually three stars here, quite possibly more. Now, if you are just getting started in astronomy and astrophotography, then Albario is on the top of my list of recommended sites for a telescope. And that is because in astronomy, when you're looking at galaxies and nebulae, it's often very disappointing when you see what it actually looks like for a telescope versus the long exposure images that you've seen in books or online. Whereas Albario is, if anything, more impressive when viewed for a telescope. The stark contrast between its red and blue colours truly make it a sight to behold, and that is a large part of the reason that it ranks ninth on our wonder wall. Now on the topic of the best views for a telescope, I have created my very own top 10 list. Good evening space fans, it's time for another countdown and this time we are taking a look at the top 10 visual wonders in our night sky. Kicking off our list is the galaxy next door. As spectacular as it is to see a galaxy for a telescope, Andromeda appears as just a cloudy patch of light for the most part, which is why it ranks 10th on our list. In number 9, we have one of the most vibrant deep sky objects in our entire night sky. The Ring Nebula is a delightful visual treat for amateur stargazers, and due to a quirk of human design, you can actually see the colours of this nebula better when you don't look directly at it, a trick known as averted vision. Number 8, Caesars Locate, the god of war in our telescope's field of view. When viewing Mars, you can usually just about make out some of its surface detail, and in this case, you can also just see a hint of its polar ice caps. And in 7th place, we're looking at the 7 sisters through our telescope, and what a beautiful sight this is. To the naked eye, it only seems like there are 6 stars, but through even a pair of small binoculars, the true extent of this open star cluster is revealed. These young, hot blue stars make for a very easy deep sky target. Number 6 is the most beautiful binary star system in our night sky. It's hidden gems like this that make stargazing such an amazing hobby. So if you are enjoying this and you want to see more stargazing videos like it, then make sure you are subscribed to this channel. In 5th place, we have the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. Yeah, sure, 2 stars are cool for a telescope. But what about several hundred thousand? The gentle glow of this star cluster makes for an exciting observation throughout the summer months. In fourth, we have the heart of our night sky. Witness the birth of new stars in this slightly grey looking stellar nursery. The Orion Nebula is one of the first deep sky objects amateurs will ever spot through their telescopes, and with good reason. 
Our third spot is home to the most beautiful planet in our entire solar system. Saturn and its rings are a must for any astronomer, but maybe not so much right now, since the angle of these rings relative to our point of view here on Earth makes them seem almost non-existent. In second place, it's our heavily cratered lunar companion. Contrary to what you might think, the best time to observe the moon isn't when it's fully illuminated, but rather around 50% since you get to explore its depth in far greater detail thanks to these huge shadows being cast by the sunlight. And then finally, in our number one spot, the god of all planets, Jupiter. Not only is it exciting to view the different coloured bands that make up the atmosphere of this planet, but there are also four bonus attractions in these distinct points of light you can regularly see dancing around the planet. These are four of Jupiter's largest moons, and depending on when you observe the gas giant, you may even see them casting a shadow onto the surface of the planet, which is insanely cool. And there we have it. Do you agree with my rankings here? Let me know what your top visual wonders are in the comments down below. Our next wonder is a bit more mysterious, because it looks a lot like a comet or a star wearing a big white cape. This is Hubble's Variable Nebula. You can find Hubble's Variable Nebula tucked away amongst a great host of magnificent nebulae, each more beautiful than the last. Its nearby neighbours in our night sky include the Orion Nebula, the Horsehead Nebula, the Rosetta Nebula, and even the Christmas Tree Nebula. Well, whilst the vast majority of deep sky objects appear static during our lifetimes, Hubble's Variable Nebula is throwing a tantrum like young baby stars do. It's possible to spot this superstar through the help of the 500 dot telescope, but it's only with the help of our remote observatory that we can resolve the detail of its shadowy nebula and capture its variability. Hubble's view makes this protostar look very ghost-like and surreal amongst our night sky. But to see its true nature, we can't just take photos over the course of one night. We must instead take photos over the course of weeks. As is the case with the nearby star, our puppis, Hubble has captured its own light echo over a number of weeks. It almost looks like the nebula is breathing and acts as a reminder that our universe is alive, even if it is seemingly in the form of a flickering light bulb in a haunted mansion. This wonder is one of the main targets of my upcoming project, The Universe in Motion, where I'm hoping to capture deep sky objects from my garden over the course of the year and document how they change visually. So be sure to keep your eye out for this video next year. With a beauty rating of 63, a power of 70, and a mystery of 86, Hubble's Variable Nebula finishes with a wonder rating of... 73. And that's why for me, Hubble's Variable Nebula ranks 22nd on our wonder wall. Do you agree with those ratings? Let me know in the comments down below, and you could be with a chance of winning your very own Seastar S50 Smart Telescope. All you have to do to be in with a shot is quite simply comment your ratings below. That's it. None of this like, share, and tag five of your friends nonsense. I just want to know what your thoughts are on today's wonders. I'm absolutely loving that a lot of you are explaining your reasons for why you rated a wonder a particular value, and I do really enjoy reading all of them, even if some of the ratings are a lot more justifiable than others. You can enter once per episode and up to 14 times across the series. The closing date for entries is the 31st of January 2026. Best of luck. Now, does our final wonder of tonight's show have what it takes to break into the top two of our wonder wall? Well, it might do because it is one of the most iconic sites in all of astronomy. This is the Helix Nebula. Otherwise known as the Eye of God, it is the poster girl for what makes space so amazing. What we are looking at here is essentially how our own sun will look in 5 billion years time as it sheds its most outer layers and seemingly blossoms into the most stunning cosmic flower. 
It is one of the most difficult targets to spot on our list for us Northern Hemisphere observers, but it's not impossible. In fact, right now is the best time of year to try and image the Helix Nebula. So if you fancy really testing your stargazing skills and you have a relatively clear horizon, then give it a shot, as even a Sea Star S50 is able to pick out its bright and powerful colours. The $1 million remote observatory creates a masterpiece with its image of the Helix Nebula. And finally, the Hubble Space Telescope shot is just second to none. You are witnessing the final cries of a dying star. What feels as though it should be a sad display is instead one of the most beautiful sights in our entire cosmos. Speaking of which, this image was the foundation of the logo design for the incredible documentary series Cosmos. Although they have taken the Eye of God nickname very literally with their design. So at night 6, the Helix Nebula ties second for the most beautiful object of this series. But should it be first? Hmm. With that being said, the Helix Nebula has achieved a wonder rating of 78. So in the end, I have given the Helix Nebula and Albirio the exact same beauty ratings of 96, which is also the same as the Heart Nebula all the way down here, but it does mean that all three of them rank just one point behind Saturn in terms of beauty. Do you think Albirio deserves to be higher than the Helix Nebula? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And with that being said, we have now reached the end of tonight's episode, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Every single one of these videos throughout the series features absolutely no ad interruptions in the middle of the video to ensure that they are as fun and immersive and educational as possible. It does, however, mean that I lose a large chunk of the ad revenue. So if you want to continue to support this channel and the further production of future videos and series like this, then you can do so by joining my Patreon and clicking the link in the description below. Thank you very much for joining me tonight, and I hope to see you again next week when we'll look into three new wonders and see where they rank on our wonder wall. I'm Damon Scotting and this was Astronomical. Next week we'll be taking a look at the god of all planets, Jupiter, as well as a massive collection of stars that can just not stop flashing, and how to spot everyone's favourite trio of galaxies, including the Hamburger Galaxy. So make sure you are subscribed and keeping your eye out for new videos every single week.